There are just so there are just so many books that you can possibly buy. How do you make sense of all of this stuff? Well, today I'm going to help you out with that. First off, scales. You need to get a good scale book. You can certainly follow my scale book. You can check out on my website. Just send me a message and I can arrange for you to get one or find a scale book out there that works for you. I arranged this scale book to be really your go-to book. It's simply 10 pages long, 10 exercises long with a dictionary in the back that's going to really help you with all the basics for cello. So check out my scale book on my website or really any scale book. You must know your scales. There's different pedagogies for beginners. The Suzuki School I highly suggest. They have different levels, up to, I believe up to level 10 or 12. And then of course you can even get some ensemble music for cello. So make sure that you check that out. Theory. Now you need to know what you're doing. I found these books all for strings to be fantastic. These are books that will just get you where you need to go. For instance, I'll show you in, it, if you don't know anything about music at all, then this will help you out. Look at that. This is going to really help you out. It's got this, it's got, you know, a map of the cello. It's going to, you know, has the musical math. This will take you from cello zero to cello hero in two books. I guarantee it. I've taught a lot of people how to read music with these books. So check them out. As we move on up into your skill levels, you're going to want to check out these books by Rick Mooney. I am actually have a full series coming up of these things called position pieces. They're absolutely fantastic. And for those of you a little higher level, Thumbs of Steel, this book is going to just really make you such a good player in thumb position. I cover that in some of my prior videos and will definitely cover that this year as well. Thumb position, Rick Mooney, Everything that you're seeing here is available in the description below. For those of you preparing for or orchestra um, orchestras, this is a sectional. This is something you will find. This is very common. This is the International Music Company. These books, they kind of look at this font and these are common, like the Lee Melodic Exercises, orchestral, um, orchestral excerpts. So that will definitely help you out when it comes to that sort of stuff once you get on a higher level. You can find many of these things on IMSLP already scanned and some that you can't. For instance, this sort of music that I'm showing you now, let's say you're not really interested in going classical and you want to do more pop. Books like this, we, you can get this book, Pirates of the Caribbean. You can do this one. This is John Williams. This is just the cello part right here. But let's say you're not even into doing pop. You are more into doing other stuff. Well, I found a great book here. Crossing to Scotland by Abby Newton, or this book of Carlos Gardel, um, cello duets of his tangos. So there's a lot of options for you as a cello player out there. And of course, just look online and you're going to find a lot of other information and music out there that will help you get motivated and play this instrument the way you want to play it. But as much as you want to play it, there are techniques, there's things that work for all of us and it will work for you. So. In conclusion, get a scale book. If you're a beginner, the all for strings. Very good. Check out the Suzuki Cello School for your mid-level etudes that get you the next level. And always look for something unique. That's all I have for you today. So please check out those books. Everything's linked in the description below. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And stick around a while because I think you're going to learn a lot.